What's up, what's up? Let's get to it. Today we're gonna do the Momo Challenge reaction. Thanks for coming to the channel, guys. <laughs> What's up everyone? Back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back. I know it's been a while since I've done a video, but I've been busy. I also work. Like I said, I'm a real estate agent. So today's going to be a little bit different. I wanted to do a reaction video on the Momo challenge. For any parents that are out there, I'm sure everyone's pretty familiar with this. It's some creepy thing that's popping up on our kids' YouTube channels when they're watching YouTube because they watch it all day long. Uh, I have a three-year-old, 10-year-old, and a two-year-old. So my two and three, they stay on Peppa Pig, they stay on things like that. And I guess it's big on Peppa Pig. This character is popping up. Um, it's called the Momo Challenge. Not really sure why it's called a challenge because it's not really a challenge, but they're telling these kids that they're gonna hurt their parents if they don't do these bad things, their family. It's just a really scary thing. So I know I'm a little late. I think it's been going on now for a little over a week, but it's something I want to do, just do a reaction video. Most of the videos have been taken off of YouTube simply because it's it's nasty, it's raunchy. This whatever this whoever this person is, they have not been caught yet. Um, so the channel, the uh, reaction video that I'm going to react to is actually a news clip. That's pretty much um, the only one that I could find. This is my first reaction video, so please work with me. But yeah, I just I really want to see what's going on. So let's get to it. Today, people across the world are spreading awareness for World Suicide Prevention Day. Well, right here in Colorado, parents are warning each other about a new game targeting people with suicidal tendencies. And Denver Simmons Connor West joins us to explain what this disturbing Momo challenge is. Yes, it is a very strange name, but it really is very weird. disturbing. Really, it's really important weird. to talk about. So this challenge involves people taking commands from unknown numbers in social media accounts for 50 days. And the part that's extremely concerning is the dangerous tasks that the so-called Momo character is asking players to perform. And it's so The ugly. Momo challenge passes itself off as a game, but it is certainly not that. It's creating a situation where they're contemplating very dangerous situations for themselves. Here's the first clue for parents to be concerned with. The image of this Japanese statue of a woman with bulging eyes and scary features. It's Here's like how this super dangerous challenge goes. Like that, like Users start communicating with Momo on Facebook or WhatsApp, a free messaging service. They're given a series of tasks to finally meet the Momo, and those tasks start off small but then escalate quickly to violent acts with photos for proof. The Momo intimidates and threatens those who don't follow follow its instructions, and the final challenge can be anywhere from harming to killing yourself. Local schools, including oh, American gosh. Academy and Parker, recently sent out emails to parents, warning them of the challenges they are most concerned about, Momo being one of them. There's something new every day that we have to watch for and make sure everybody understands the repercussions behind most of these challenges. Law enforcement agencies have put out warnings about the Momo challenge. The game is reportedly being played in the United States and around the world. The challenge first came this? to light after being linked to the suicide of a 12 year old girl in Argentina. She left behind a video on her phone of the tasks she took before her death. There haven't been any reported deaths from the Momo challenge in the US so far. Technology experts say this is an opportunity for parents to remind their kids not to trust unknown numbers and to not click on unidentified links. Experts also encourage you to change email and social media passwords very frequently and block unknown numbers inviting you to play right away. In studio, I'm Connor West, Denver 7. Wow, that is pretty disgusting. So whoever has time on their hands to try to hurt our children, like... I pray that this person gets caught, put to jail forever. Um, we, so Trey and I sit with our kids, like we're with our kids all the time when they're on the internet and stuff, not to say, not Valentino so much, um, but the little ones. And like I said, Peppa Pig is our thing. So what do you guys think? Like, do we completely remove, you know, the option for kids to even watch Peppa Pig or the toy reveals and stuff like that? Or is it okay for us to sit next to our children while we do it? Because I'm gonna be honest, we do sit next to the kids and we haven't removed it yet. 
but we're well aware of what they're watching. And then the other thing is the WhatsApp. So we use WhatsApp a lot too, because Trey's family, he's, um, they're in South Africa, he's from Cape Town. So I guess that Momo has a lot to do with that as well. So I'm just curious um, how you guys feel as parents about this. It's sick, everyone has to stay on their toes all the time because there's a bunch of weirdos out there. But yeah, I mean, what do we do? Like, what do you do? Um, like I said, what my husband and I do, we still sit with our kids, they enjoy it. You know, they watch stuff like that. We haven't had any encounters with Momo. And like I said, I, I from what I've heard, the guy hasn't been caught or the woman hasn't been caught. I don't know who it is, but I mean, yeah, be aware, it's out there. I know you guys are, are aware of it. Our schools even talk to our children about it. Um, that was a clip from Colorado, but we live in Phoenix and they've also talked about it. So I don't know, just want to kind of do a reaction on that. And that's insane, crazy. Keep an eye out on your kids, you guys. Uh, ask, ask them about it. We asked our kids about it. The little ones were not familiar with it at all. Valentino was, um, but yeah. Thanks for staying tuned and watching my channel. I still haven't thought of a name for you guys yet. I will because I need some um, input. Like I said, it's gonna be Corey. I'm gonna call you Valleys because I don't have anything else to think of. And then um, I'm gonna do another video later this week, maybe one or two videos with Sophia. And we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna try different snacks from Cape Town. And then I also ordered that, I think it's called Yums or something. So that box is from Spain. So we're gonna try those snacks, tell you guys how they taste. The Cape Town snacks, I've already tried them. They're like, it's, it, they're amazing, they're chocolate. And then my favorite chips are in there. So I'm gonna have Sophie try it, nothing different. It's just, it's chocolate and chips. But thanks you guys, please subscribe and like, please, please, please. I would love for you guys to keep, you know, keep watching my videos, tell your friends about it, share, do all that and, Love you guys, stay tuned for the next video, thank you.